Hi everyone, welcome to the Rugby League History channel. Tonight, I'm bringing you the 2021 Neville Glover Award. This is an award that I've been doing since 2016, but this is the second year that I've done it on YouTube on this platform. I also did a video last week, which was titled the Paul Carriage Award. Go check that out if you haven't already watched it. The Neville Glover Award is awarded annually to the player who bombs the biggest try in the NRL final series. It can be a grand final, a preliminary final, elimination final, just as long as it's a finals game and it's a bomb try. The award is named after former Parramatta and Penrith player Neville Glover. Now I'm sure most of the people that follow my channel would not know who Neville Glover is. If they didn't know who Paul Carriage was, who Paul Carriage was, sorry, they would not know who Neville Glover is. But I'll just give you a quick background on him. Um, he played most of his career at Parramatta. He played 121 first grade games for them between 1975 to 1981, scoring 54 tries. He played two tests for Australia and one game for New South Wales. But unfortunately, he's most remembered for his time in the 1976 Grand Final. It was Parramatta's first ever decider. And with 10 minutes to go, they trailed Manly 11 points to 10. The ball went through the hands. It was a backline play for Parramatta. And they were, they were building up the summit. And the ball went through the hands. It went out to John Moran, who drew in a couple of defenders. He had Neville Glover on the outside, unmarked. He passed the ball to Neville Glover. All he had to do was catch the ball, and he would have scored in the corner. But Neville Glover dropped the ball. And three minutes after that, Manley kicked a penalty goal to make it 13 points to 10. And in the, la in the last couple of minutes of the game... Manly held on to win their third premiership and as for Parramatta, what should have been their first premiership victory turned out to not be the case and Neville Glover unfortunately is remembered for that mainly in his career and not the other things that he did. But we'll start with the first nominee tonight. This year there hasn't been too many nominees because on the main, I think players have been well behaved and have been scoring their tries properly. But we'll start with the first nominee tonight, which is the Gold Coast Patrick Herbert in that infamous first week of the finals match against the Sydney Roosters, which the Gold Coast lost 25 points to 24. With a minute remaining, Sam Walker, he kicked a field goal for Eastern Suburbs to make it 25-24. A lot of people thought that the game was over, but the Gold Coast had other ideas. The did a line break, got down to the other end of the field. They shifted the ball through the hands. It made its way out to Patrick Herbert. He had David Fafita and Corey Thompson on his race. All he had to do was pass the ball to either of them. And they score. And the goal course go into the second week of the finals. But instead, Patrick Herbert went for glory. He went for the line. The Eastern Suburbs players kept him out. And he dropped the ball and the ball went out in the touch and that was game over for the goal course so I think in terms of Neville Glover award nominees this is probably one of the the biggest one I've had in quite some time but Patrick Herbert is the first nominee for the Neville Glover award of 2021 the next nominee for this Neville Glover award 2021 is Melbourne's George Jennings and he in this nomination after his performance in the 2021 preliminary final loss against Penrith, where they were defeated 10 points to six there at Suncorp Stadium. In a game where defence was king and both teams had defences tighter than a submarine door, there was very few opportunities. And Penrith opened the scoring, but after that, Melbourne made their way down the other end of the field. And the ball went through the hands, it went through Budster, Hughes, found its way out to George Jennings. It was a good move. He caught the ball, there was nobody in front of him. All he had to do was put the ball down and Melbourne go for all with a kick to come. Instead, George Jennings drops the ball over the line. And from that moment on, things just seemed to not go Melbourne's way. They had a couple of disallowed tries. But the fact that the score ended 10 points to 6... And George Jennings had that drop ball in the first half. That really cost Melbourne. And it could have potentially cost them a place in the 2021 NRL Grand Final. So George Jennings, 
is the second nominee for the Neville Glover Awards of 2021. So those are the two nominees for the 2021 Neville Glover Awards. I've done a bit of thinking about this award. It's a very big decision. But the 2021 Neville Glover Award winner is Patrick Herbert. Patrick Herbert of the Gold Coast, you are the 2021 Neville Glover winner. I would get you on the show to maybe make a speech or I'd have you on there, maybe have a bit of a call and we can talk about it. But you're in Australia at the moment and with the time difference, I can get you on. But you are the 2021 Neville Glover Award winner and it's a prestigious award. You should be very proud for winning it. And Patrick Herbert is the winner. And now what we'll do is we'll have a look at the previous winners of the Neville Glover Award. And the inaugural winner in 2016 was Edric Lee for his performance in the 2016 preliminary final where he bombed two tries and he cost Canberra a chance of a place in the grand final. 2017, Suliasi Vunavalu in the 2017 preliminary final against Brisbane at Emi Park there. 2018, Sean Johnson in the elimination final for New Zealand against Penrith. That was a, a massive bomb try, that one. 2019, Cody Walker in the preliminary final against Canberra where he dropped the ball over the line in the first half and put a lot of pressure on South Sydney. The first joint winners of the trophy, Josh Mansuber and Kurt Capewell in the 2020 preliminary final against South Sydney where they bombed a certain try. And a retrospective winner, 1999, Anthony Mundine. Who can forget him when he dropped the ball over the line and cost St George the Premiership in 1999? So that's the 2021 Neville Glover Award done and dusted for another year. The winner is Patrick Herbert. Do you agree with that selection? Let me know in the comments section below. Let me know your thoughts. Should it have been George Jennings? Should it have been Patrick Herbert? You let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. This is Rugby League History signing off. And I'll be doing those end of season Rugby League YouTube Awards very soon. Just stay patient. I'm going to be doing them very shortly. It's just going to take me a bit of time to put them together. Alright, tatty bye for now and I'll catch us all later in the next one.